Well, you know, both of them, I think, make a lot of sense, both hot aisle and cool aisle containment. Uh, rather than allowing the, the hot air to kind of recycle through and, and have to be air conditioned a second time. To, to us, and we've done studies on both, and the cool aisle containment is a more efficient method because you're not allowing the mixing of the hot air with the cold air. And the other thing that a lot of people forget is uh, the IT people. You have a hot aisle containment. It isn't pleasant working in that hot aisle when you've got to change out servers or do something like that. Where you know, because you can have a, a big differential between hot aisle and cold aisle, as you are probably aware. And then when you contain it, it can get pretty miserable in some of those hot aisle containment sections. But we have found it to be a more efficient way of cooling. Well, yeah, I lived in Europe and ran businesses for Emerson in Europe for four years, and uh, you've got to you've got to uh, be cognizant of the fact that the Europeans really think much more green than we do here in the U.S. Uh, so the idea of saving energy and reducing the carbon footprint, I mean, this is not something new for Europe. It's more new here in the U.S. I mean, I lived it for for four years when I was there. So I would have to say on cooling technologies, they're a bit ahead of us. But I think, uh, as we typically can do in the U.S., we're closing that gap quickly. And the data centers in Europe tend to be a little smaller, so you do have some differences. Uh, you know, they're not dealing with some of the large mega data centers that, that we have here in the States. But um, they've, they've made more progress you know, in terms of refrigerants that they use, uh, some of the uh, free cooling and this sort of thing that, that they do in Europe. But like use of air side economizers, which is a very efficient way of cooling your data center if you have the right ambient condition, we're ahead of them here mm -hmm. in the U.S. You know, I mean, you read about it all the time. The more efficient data centers are employing these airside economizers. Again, it's, it's similar. We're, we do an awful lot of chilled water systems here in the U.S., which, especially the big data centers, are almost exclusively chilled water, which is a very efficient means of cooling a data center. We see that in Europe as well. I mean, uh, headquarters for a lot of the, the big chiller manufacturers for comfort cooling in the world, like Carrier Train and others, is in Europe. Uh, so. You know, chiller technology is is well developed in Europe. Um, but I, I wouldn't say that they're any ahead of us on, other than the fact they've already made some changes in refrigerants. Uh, they've gone to 410A refrigerant, which has less global warming potential than the 407C, which is what we have here in the states. I I would expect in the next few years, uh, most companies are going to be moving to 410A for when they use a refrigerant. Uh, and chilled water, I think, will continue to be very popular mm -hmm. as, as a means of cooling the data center. In the North American market, what's your sense of, uh, uh, what are the trends you're seeing in terms of uh, uh, the cooling products and technologies that are generating the most interest and uh, what you're hearing from your customers and how, how their needs are, are shifting at this point? You know, I think from what when I talk to customers, the, the comment I always get is, you know what, we never worried about our cooling. We just we put our crack units in the room. Uh, we never ran more than you know two, four, five kilowatts uh, you know, per rack. It was no problem. And then late, lately, with the high density computing using uh, blade servers, they've run into lots of problems. And so the, the uh, product that's been of most interest for our customers lately has been our XD product mm -hmm. because it gives you a point. You can, you can match it up with your hotspots in the data center. It gives you some flexibility and, of course, it's scalable as customers continue to bring more and more uh, blade servers in and high-density computing. They can just add more XD systems. So that's been the one that's generated the most interest for us. Of course, you still have the uh, traditional crack units. And um, I think some of the containment, like our cold aisle containment solution that we're 
showing at this show for the first time. Uh, I think those make a lot of sense.